I want to give a strong shalom to the Akim on the four corners of the earth, because the word of truth is sincerity, making a caller and a legend sure, making a bite on the sacrifice. As well as the large, most of the men, women, and children, with the Lord will have mercy on these last days, but in order to righteous one third, come back to the faith and obedience of Yahweh Bashim Hashai. And also want to give a humble salutation to the elect and the nation of Israel, so that throughout the four corners of the earth, no matter what your outside appearance may be. All right, this is Brother Mashal, come back at you with a quick lesson for the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Hashai. Represent the PM branch of Great Millstone. I want to say to Wadi Yahab Bashim Hashem for giving the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, this, the title of this lesson will be something simple called uh, Believe believe the Gospel. All right. Now, I was just, um, you know, uh, reading through Mark in the first chapter. And uh, what Yahweh Shah said, uh, we're going to start at verse 14. It says, uh, Now, after that John was uh, in prison, Yahweh Shah came into Galilee preaching the gospel. Of the kingdom of the most high all right and this is what we uh this is what we're doing all right we're, we're preaching the uh the gospel of the kingdom of heaven man, okay because the kingdom of heaven is only for a certain group of people okay who who, who this this you know, the covering cast of esau calls uh you know uh negroes latinos native and Seminole indians okay but you are the true biblical uh evil israelites all right so this is the, the, the gospel that 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 uh our, our Messiah was is, is talking about. All right, in verse 15, it says, the saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. All right, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to repent and believe the gospel. That belief is, is uh, um, uh, highly important, because without belief, without faith, we have nothing, okay? Because the scripture says in, um, uh, of uh, uh, Romans, right? That without faith, it is, it is uh, of Slavic Hebrews. Um, without faith, it is um, it, it is impossible to to please him. All right, you know, let me get that real quick. Uh, Hebrews, um, I believe it's the eleven and, and six. Kind of. uh, Hebrews eleven and six. It says, uh, "But without faith, it is impossible to please him." For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, that belief. Okay, that faith. It's impossible to please the Heavenly Father without that belief, without that faith. Okay, so that's why we have to believe the gospel, believe in the whole role. The whole role is the gospel. Okay? Because when you go to John... This salad looks amazing. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Uh, John 7 and verse 38. So, like, let me get this page to stick in. John 7 and verse 38. It says, Where we at? It says, um, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay? So, we got to believe on Yahweh Shai, as the scripture says. Okay, now how should I say that he comes in the volume of the book? Now, when you believe in Yahweh Shai throughout the whole volume of the book, which is from Genesis all the way to Revelation, okay, which includes the Apocrypha, okay, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water that understand it. Okay, we this is what we need, that we need to have that understanding, but without without faith, without belief, that 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 understanding is is impossible. Alright? Because let's go to um Psalms. Uh, 119 and verse 125 it says I am my servant all right we are we are the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yashai we we are the ministers okay of Yahweh Bashim Yashai it says I am my servant give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies okay and that test those, those testimonies is the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy so this is what we ask the Lord to give us understanding so that we that way we can know and understand the prophecies. Okay, why? Because we're the servant of Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're the disciples. That disciple means a student. Okay. So this one so when the servant says, uh, servants obey your earthly masters, what is that talking about? 
that's not talking about uh, uh, slavery, right? That's that's something that they use in, in, in uh, you know, to justify uh, uh, slavery, right? But what it's talking about is that that master goes back to the word teacher, okay? And that serving me uh, is, go is going into a student or a disciple, all right? Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs, the first chapter. Proverbs 1 and verse 5. It says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Okay, so what are these wise counsels? Okay, that's the teachings you know, from the apostles on down, man. Now when we understand the, 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 the breakdowns, now we're able to to, uh, to go out and teach ourselves. Okay? But it all starts with that belief. Why? Because we believe that the apostles were the men that the Lord has, has set up in these last days. Okay? We believe that they have the correct breakdowns. Okay, why? Because the crusade to prove all things, hold fast to that, which is good. So what do we do? We 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 get the breakdown, and then we'll, and then what do we do? What we 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 do the history, all right? And then the, the apostles are always big on that, you know, to, to 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 don't believe what they say, all right? So we we're trying to increase learning. Why? Because that's that's part of that belief. Okay, we believe that the, that the scriptures are true. Because the scriptures talk about that the words that are written on the paper are, are, are faithful and true. All right? And the Lord has given us uh, men. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 3. And... Uh, 15 it says now we'll give you pastors okay teachers and I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding all right so the apostles have 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 labored and they have received the, the gifts from the heavens to be able to come in and to, to uh to pass along to uh, us younger brothers man okay the scripture talk about that that uh that we have entered into other men's labors Right, so the Lord has given us pastors, and through faith and through belief, we 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 believe and we understand. All right, man, Salakia. We have faith and we believe and understand that that the Lord has has set up uh, these men to to teach us and to guide us, right, to, and to look out for our souls, to watch for our souls. Okay, what happened with uh, with Abraham? All right, let's go to Genesis. Uh, Genesis uh, So I can bear with me Genesis 15 And In verse 6 It says and he believed in the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, and, and he counted it to him for righteousness. You see? So through, through, through Abraham's belief, through his faith, it was counted for him righteousness. Okay, so now we now our belief in the gospel is counted to us righteousness. Why? Because the, the because the letter of the law it says it talks about that that our righteousness are as filthy rags. All right, so you read Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, it talks about what that righteousness is, okay, which is keeping of the law. So now we were upheld by the faith of Yahweh Shai chiefly. All right, let's go, to, let's go back to John. Real quick. Uh, John 3. In 18, it says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, okay? And that's, you know, and that because we don't want to be condemned in this truth, man. Okay? 
and he's talking about Yahweh Shai is, is, is having a dark, is saying a dark parable about himself. It says, he that believeth on him is not condemned, meaning believing on, on Yahweh Shai. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Why? Because they were already uh, uh, chosen uh, to be against the Messiah from the foundation of the earth. Okay, that Allah Hayyam was that was that cho those chosen men that were uh, that were already set up to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay, they were predestinated, like it says in Ephesians. Okay, it says, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. All right, you got to have that. You got to believe in the name of Yahweh Shai. What he came to do. Okay. Preaching the gospel to who? The Israelites. Let's go to um Isaiah 61 so I can go ahead and eat and get on up out of him. Isaiah 61. Let's see what the gospel is for. Isaiah 61 and verse 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord powers upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meat. And that word and that phrase good tidings is, is the same thing as the gospel. Okay? It says uh, I'm fine. Thank you. It says, uh, He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Okay, because we are in a prison. All right. The scripture seven book says in um, Jeremiah, uh, I believe it's the 50th chapter, about, you know, that the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. You know, they, they uh, were held captive and they refused to let them go. Okay, and we are those broken hearted All right, we are those captives Okay, so this is the good news that the kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites That Yahweh Shai came in the flesh to be that sacrifice for the nation of Israel It says uh, verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord And the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn Okay, and what is that acceptable year? All right, that the time when Yahweh Shai makes his return all right, it says, verse uh, 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. See? This is Mount Zion, man. It says, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil for joy. So I give the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. You see? So we want to be called trees of righteousness. And what is it? What is it saying in Psalms? The second chapter. No, I'm slacking the first chapter. And we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Psalms 1. And verse 2 it says, But his delight is in the law of the Most High. Slacking. Like a whole bunch of flies and shit flying around. It says, uh, but his delight is the law of the most high, and in his law do he meditate day and night. That's the same thing that what, what Joshua 1 8 says. Okay? To meditate on the law, to meditate on the scripture. Then that's part of that belief. Because in order for you to believe uh, on your Howard Shah, you gotta you have to study his word. It says, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You see, the Lord is gonna plant us. And Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. All right. It says um, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. All right. And that's what's coming, man. Okay. That's why we have the belief in the gospel, so we can be that, so we can uh, be those trees of righteousness, man. Getting that living water. Okay. Flourishing. All right. So Lord willing, says with edifying, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and infinite worship to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakha Hakodash, Shalom Yah, Dabah Anastasia Pasa, Great Millstone, I'm Saint Kwame Shirala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.